Are you worried about common health advice that may be doing you more harm than good? Before we make any health decisions based on these claims, wait a minute. What if I told you that some of the scariest health myths out there are not only wrong, but could be leading you astray? Today, we're going to debunk seven of the most frightening health myths that you've probably heard and clear up the truth using real science. These myths have caused you unnecessary fear. But by the end of this video, you'll know how to make informed decisions for your well-being. Whether you've been told to avoid certain foods, fear particular medical practices, or are worried about lifestyle choices, you're in the right place. In just a few moments, we'll dive into six common health myths and reveal the truth behind them. Answering questions like, is eating fat really bad for you? Will cracking your knuckles give you arthritis? And does sugar really cause hyperactivity in kids? But before we dive into the facts, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can stay up to date with the latest health tips and never fall victim to a myth again. Point one, myth, eating fat makes you fat. Think eating fat is the fastest route to weight gain? Think again. For years, diet trends and misinformation have made people fear fat like it's the enemy. Low-fat products, diet shakes, and fat-free snacks have dominated store shelves, convincing millions that avoiding fat is the secret to staying slim. But the reality is more complex. The human body needs fat. It's one of the three macronutrients crucial to survival. What's more, the low-fat diet trend of the 80s and 90s has actually contributed to increased obesity rates because people replaced fats with sugar and processed carbohydrates. Fats play a critical role in your metabolism and cellular function, helping you absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K. Cutting them out entirely can cause more harm than good, especially if you're replacing them with empty carbs. The truth? Healthy fats, like those found in nuts, seeds, avocados, and olive oil, can actually aid in weight loss and improve overall health. According to a Harvard study, diets high in these fats have been linked to lower rates of heart disease and improved weight management. Don't fear fat. Embrace it. The right kind of fat. Point 2. Myth. Cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. Worried that cracking your knuckles will lead to arthritis? Here's why you can stop stressing. The idea that knuckle cracking leads to arthritis is one of the most widespread health myths. Many people are convinced that the popping sound means damage is being done to the joints, so they worry they're increasing their risk of arthritis with every crack. But the truth is much simpler. The sound you hear when cracking your knuckles isn't bones grinding together. It's caused by bubbles forming in the fluid surrounding your joints. A comprehensive study published in Arthritis and Rheumatism followed people who cracked their knuckles habitually over decades and found no link between this habit and the development of arthritis. In fact, knuckle cracking didn't show any long-term negative effects on joint health. So what does that mean for you? Feel free to crack away. While it may annoy those around you, you can rest easy knowing that knuckle cracking won't lead to arthritis. The only thing it may hurt is your relationships with people who hate the sound. Point 3. Myth. Eating late at night makes you gain weight. Think eating after 8 p.m. will ruin your diet? Here's why it's not that simple. The myth that eating late at night will make you gain weight has been circulating for years. The reasoning seems logical. People assume that your body's metabolism slows down at night, so food consumption late is more likely to be stored as fat. However, this belief is rooted in a misunderstanding of how the body processes calories. What really matters is not when you eat, but how much you eat over the course of the entire day. A study published in Obesity Journal found that late night eating itself isn't inherently harmful. It's the type of food you're eating and your overall caloric intake that contribute to weight gain. Late night snackers often reach for processed high calorie foods, which leads to overeating and weight gain. The real takeaway? Eating late at night won't automatically make you gain weight if you're sticking to your daily calorie goals and making healthy choices. It's not the clock you should watch, it's what's on your plate. Point four. Myth. Sugar causes hyperactivity in kids. Does sugar really turn your child into a hyperactive tornado? Let's look at the facts. Every parent has seen it. Their child eats cake, drinks soda, or gets a candy bar, and suddenly they're bouncing off the walls. But is sugar really to blame for this surge in energy? 
The idea that sugar causes hyperactivity in children has been widely accepted for years, even though the scientific community has found little evidence to support it. A comprehensive meta-analysis published in the Journal of the American Medical Association reviewed multiple studies and found no link between sugar consumption and hyperactivity in children. What's actually happening is more psychological than physical. Children often consume sugary treats at parties or during exciting events which are already stimulating. Parents expect hyperactivity and subconsciously look for it, creating a classic placebo effect. So, does sugar cause hyperactivity? The answer is no. While it's important to limit sugar for long-term health reasons, don't blame that sugar rush for your kid's wild behavior. It's probably the excitement of the event they're attending. Point five, myth, detox diets cleanse your body. Thinking about starting a detox diet? Here's why your body already has it covered. The market is flooded with detox teas, cleanses, and diets that promise to rid your body of toxins and make you feel healthier. But do these detoxes really do anything? Or are they just expensive fads? Here's the reality. Your body already has a highly efficient detox system in place. Your liver, kidneys, and lymphatic system are responsible for filtering out waste and toxins. These organs work tirelessly, 24-7, to keep you healthy without the help of supplements or restrictive diets. According to a report from the National Institutes of Health, there's no scientific evidence to support the idea that detox diets provide additional benefits. Worse, some detox diets can actually be harmful, causing dehydration, nutrient deficiencies, and muscle loss. The truth? You don't need a special detox diet to cleanse your body. Instead, focus on eating a balanced diet, drinking plenty of water, and exercising regularly. These habits will naturally support your body's built-in detox system. Point 6. Myth. Cold weather makes you sick. Does stepping out in the cold without a coat mean you'll catch a cold? Here's why that's a myth. It's a common belief that cold weather itself makes you more likely to get sick, but the reality is more nuanced. The truth is, cold weather doesn't cause illness. Viruses do. Specifically, the rhinovirus, which is responsible for the common cold, spreads more easily in the winter because people tend to stay indoors and gather in close quarters, making it easier for viruses to pass from person to person. Interestingly, some studies have shown that cold air can slightly weaken the immune system's defenses, but this effect is minor. A study published in PLOS Pathogens showed that the real reason colds are more common in the winter is not the cold itself, but the behavior changes that come with it, like spending more time indoors. So, while bundling up can keep you warm, it won't necessarily prevent you from getting sick. The best ways to avoid catching a cold are to wash your hands frequently, avoid touching your face, and maintain a strong immune system with good nutrition and sleep. Myth 7. You need 8 glasses of water a day. Think you need to force down 8 glasses of water every day to stay healthy? Let's clear that up. The 8 glasses a day rule has been repeated so often, it's almost accepted as fact. But here's the truth. The amount of water each person needs can vary significantly based on factors like body size, activity level, and even the climate you live in. This myth is likely originated from a 1945 recommendation that stated humans should consume about 2.5 liters of water per day. But it also mentioned that much of this comes from food, which people often overlook. The National Academies of Sciences suggests that most healthy individuals can stay hydrated by simply drinking when they're thirsty and that the fluids from foods like fruits and vegetables also count towards your daily intake. So, no need to obsessively count glasses. Drink when you feel thirsty and let your body guide you. Overhydration can even be dangerous, leading to a condition called hyponatremia. The key here is balance, not blind adherence to outdated guidelines. Now that we've debunked these six scary health myths, you're armed with the facts and can make smarter, more informed decisions about your health. If you want to learn more about the health truth, then go watch this video here on the 8 superfoods you can eat to lose fat. From embracing healthy fats to letting go of the detox craze, these myths are no match for the science that backs up the truth.